All right, part two. Got a couple of wires with loops on them. Got a little one, gonna be trying to get the knob with that. That doesn't work. Got a bigger piece of baling wire. Uh, baling wire is uh, thinner than coat hanger wire, but thick and sturdy enough that you can do things with it, manipulate it, uh, thread a wall if you need to, you know, squeeze a wire through, or as a, in another video I showed, I had threaded the headliner of my car to add an extra dome light. So, back uh, behind the glove box, you can find... tight little area here okay so this uh, knob right here let's see if we can use a wire to poke at it so my hands not blocking it so this lever right here that the wire is going to this lever that controls the baffle door to the floor. Now, there's another lever way in the back, and I'm not sure we're going to be able to see it. I can see it with my eye, but I can't quite get the phone into position to show it. But there's another one way in the back. And I believe that's going to be, uh, there, I think we can see it all the way in the back there right now. I believe, or I'm hoping, that's going to be the baffle door handle to activate the defrost. I'm going to try and hook it with those wires and keep it in position for defrost through the winter. Not sure how I can do all that while still uh, still running the camera. Uh, my speculation is that uh, Toyota did this on purpose. They didn't really want to sell the Toyota Prius C, but they did want to have the cheapest hybrid on the market. So they intentionally designed the Toyota Prius C with numerous flaws so that anyone trying to go on the cheap would get it uh, because they were someone who could attain a new car they would get frustrated with it trade it in for uh, higher level hybrid from Toyota and pass this car with all its flaws on some poor schmuck who had no choice but to live with his car as their life declined partly due to all the frustrations with the car and they ran off into a ditch uh, never to be seen again and Toyota was perfectly happy uh, foreseeing uh, and projecting uh, promoting this uh, waste of human life in such a way uh, just to trick people into buying their crappy cars if you need a hybrid, there's plenty of other manufacturers with hybrids on the market. You don't need to buy anything from Toyota or have anything to do with them. Uh, as you will soon find, their service departments do not want to have anything to do with you. And thus, the only reason Toyota would design a car with so many flaws, since it clearly isn't to generate service dollars, is to simply frustrate new car buyers so they will want to upgrade and Toyota can sell two cars to a person who otherwise would have only bought one. Pushing the car with all the flaws, the Toyota Prius C, onto again the secondary uh, car market and ruining some innocent person's life who had no idea they were getting into an intentional limousine, lemon rather dumped on the market by Toyota.
again, Total Lemon, Toyota Prius C. Do not patronize Toyota. 